Hi, this is Ikro Fei from Spectral Audio, and today I'd like to show you what's new in Acid Gen 1.2. Acid Gen is an advanced pattern generator for Ableton Live, designed to create useful bass lines and melodies, and the new 1.2 update includes many improvements and fixes. We've added a new algorithm called ARP3. ARP3 combines basic techniques from regular arpeggiators with ideas from other acid gen algorithms. The results are reminiscent of standard arpeggios, but much more dynamic and interesting. We've redesigned the node display to give the user much better visual feedback. You can now display the active step and density state of each node. While AcidGen is designed with live performance in mind, different artists have different needs and preferences. Therefore, we've added four different presets for the transpose and the length buttons. You can now select which one works best for your setup in the options view. The key and scale parameters now work in real time and can now be MIDI mapped to any MIDI controller. Other parameters such as algorithm mode are now also MIDI mappable. You can now disable the post quantizer from the options view. While the post quantizer is extremely useful when trying to keep things in key, it's nice to have the option to disable it and go down a jazzier route. Keep in mind that while you can customize each instance of Asset Gen separately, you can still control up to four instances from the Ableton Push 2 via the included Asset Brain device. If you haven't already, check out the Asset Gen 1.1 video to learn more about Asset Brain. For more information about Asset Gen, visit spectraaudio.com/assetgen. As always. Thanks for watching.